More than 2,000 years ago, the ancient Romans had already mastered large-scale water supply projects, bringing mountain spring water steadily into their cities. They first dug underground channels inside the mountains. Workers cleaned the rock walls, coated the tunnel with waterproof mortar to reduce leakage, and set up wooden arches to support the roof and sides and prevent collapse, while making later maintenance easier. Without machines or electricity, the Romans invented a shaft method. Instead of digging from one end to the other, engineers opened vertical shafts every few dozen meters along the planned route, then dug horizontally from the bottom of each shaft in both directions. This split one long channel into many work sections, so multiple teams could work at the same time and finish faster. To ensure the sections met correctly underground, engineers used plumb bobs and measuring lines to repeatedly check direction and position, keeping the whole channel on the same line. Slope control was the key. If the slope was too steep, the water would damage the structure. If too gentle, the water would not flow. Engineers carefully measured height differences and adjusted the elevation so the channel kept a very gentle, almost invisible slope, letting water flow to the city by gravity alone. When they met valleys or low areas and could not build a surface bridge, they used an inverted side they led water into a closed pipe at a high point, let it flow down to the low point, then rise up again to the high ground on the other side under pressure. In this way, the channel crossed low terrain underground without stopping the flow. Finally, the spring water entered large city reservoirs and was then distributed to every part of the city.